Hi everyone, I'm gonna share my experience with this uh, three USB noise filters. These are made by uh, one is unknown, $10 USB noise filter. Black one is made by AudioQuest, it's called Jitterbug. The gray one is made by uh, i5, uh, it's called iSilencer 3.0. Uh, AudioQuest and iSilencer 3.0 is $49. Without the shell is the $10 one that I got on internet. And then the uh, top portion is in out of uh, AudioQuest uh, Jitterbug. And uh, I put $10 USB noise filter in this case. It's a spoon case for uh, my Japanese uh, lunchbox. It fit nicely in there. I did uh, double tape in it, so that's how it looks after I close the case. So I started out with the uh, USB uh, cable direct connection. It's connected directly from my MacBook to uh, my Parasound Pre-M USB deck. It sounded nice and fine, a little bright, and then the bass is nice and deep. Mid range is okay, uh, you know, not as good as a vinyl or not as good as a Super Audio CD. And then I will eventually move on to these uh, noise filters. And this is a $10 USB uh, noise filter that I connected from my MacBook Pro to uh, Parasound. Uh, USB deck. It sounded very nice, uh, a little bit better than the uh, st regular USB connection. Bass is a little better, it's a little more pronounced and defined. You know, mid range, I don't think it, it improved, but hardly noticeable otherwise. It works pretty good actually. And uh, I try AudioQuest Jitterbug. High frequency, mid range, about the same, but AudioQuest has a little bit better uh, instrument separation and a bit more defined bass compared to uh, either USB connection or with the $10 uh, noise filter. Then I will move on to this iFi uh, iSilencer 3.0. So, you know, I want to like this because I like the design, but this one, it sounded okay. It is the least dynamic it's kind of kill the uh, dynamic range of the music in my system. The bass seems to be uh, the deepest of three, but uh, $10 USB and AudioQuest Jitterbug is more defined bass compared to this uh, iSilencer 3.0 uh, deeper bass. And then if I do tandem, it's going to be distorted like this. Even, you know, using like this connected to my Marantz, I don't even like it. And then i rather have my thumb drive directly stick into the Marantz because the Marantz have a killer uh, USB system. So my final uh, conclusion is, if you already have computer-based uh, digital audio playback system, and then if you are dealing with the some noise issue, these filters will work for you, but it's not going to be as good as playing SACD because these computer-based system doesn't work for me. They sound too harsh for my taste. So these are the some of the music that I use when I auditioning uh, these uh, three USB noise filters. Um, a lot of, uh, you know, music that I'm very I'm very much used to listening and then um, audio some of the audio file recording and uh, mainly uh, I use the Dire Strait Brothers and Um album I use first two track So Far Away and Money For Nothing over and over again back and forth just changing the USB filters and and uh, finally I popped in a Super Audio CD of the same album Oh my goodness, my ear thank me because it's totally outclassed any of those noise filters with the uh, computer base uh, USB uh, connection. I mean it, don't do it if you have a good Super Audio CD player or even good CD player, unless you're going to do DSD or something. And then, same album, I move on to vinyl. It's so much more enjoyable. So, and also for this auditioning, I even pull out my LS50s. So it's, that's how I have it in my system right now. Because all the sound demo, I did it with the uh, R300. And then at uh, this second uh, auditioning, I did it with the uh, Kev LS50s. 
a very good a positive experience for me uh, but uh, I am not planning to do a computer based audio playback in my system because I don't like it you know unless if I'm gonna do DSD even if I'm gonna do DSD I will have a dedicated music server like from like either Sony or Marantz I'm not gonna run based on the computer it's so much noise I don't like it I will not do that so if you have a good CD player or super audio CD player it's better I am telling you I be damn people get rid of really good display for the computer based playback system and then this is a microphone that I use when I record uh, my demos so a lot of people ask me about it so I just show it to you guys and then music wise if you can do vinyl your ears will thank you for that the digital bass system is like I don't know it's a little bit unrealistic mainly uh, either drum or piano either acoustic guitar or like electric you know of course uh, male vocals and female vocals but instrument wise those are the three instruments that I pay more attention to so with the digital music uh, I don't know drums are not as realistic as uh, listening to uh, either vinyl or super audio CD I think Computer based audio playback is only for background music. No replacement for analog, period. Then um, I'm not gonna be using any of these uh, USB noise filter for this moment. So if you want to know uh, where I got that uh, $10 USB noise filters, send me a message. Also, don't forget to check out my newly launched uh, website, uh, tapama.com. Thank you for watching and happy listening.